I have so many stories, you just tell me to stop. But <laughs> one of the first things she said to me when I was in the company was that I had to get my head on straight. And she was meaning literally, I had sort of a default position that was sort of a tipped head so the light could pa catch the cheekbones. Uh, and Sort of a balletic type Sort of, of a balletic, you know, this is how we stand beautifully on stage. She recognized immediately that it was a default position for me, that it, it had no meaning, no intention. It was automatic pilot. And she wanted me to get my head on my shoulders and understand the power of my spine and the power of who I was and be direct and focused. And, uh, you know, that's a life lesson, get your head on straight. Get your head on straight is a life lesson, and uh, working with intention yes. is a life lesson. Mm -hmm. So with that, and in fact that is a perfect segue to my first question, which is how influential do you think the arts are, whether it's dance or literature, architecture, in influencing the ethics of our day or of their day and of future generations? You know, I, I just think they're inseparable. I mean, the arts are the ethics. Um, they are the soul of man, as Martha said on many occasions. And they ask us to uh, examine our lives and relate to themes that are larger than our day-to-day -day activities, themes that uh, uh, other humans, regardless of what country they live in or what culture they belong to or what religion they belong to or what their profession is, are all um, accessing or should be sort of the essence of her theater, really. She was trying to strip things down to those common elements of being human. Mm -hmm. And for her, was it very much through, first of all, the human body mm -hmm. and how it moves and how it expresses itself and expresses ideas, mm -hmm. but also this idea of bridging cultures and bridging across religions is so fundamental today. Mm -hmm. uh, and would you say that it's still the case of for the Martha Graham Company today in your school, that it's very much, that the starting point is very much the human body? Absolutely. I mean, that, that is the starting point. <laughs> and Martha, of course, began very personally to discover her language on her own body, going away from a style of dancing that was very decorative, very entertaining, very escapist. And what she wanted to represent was the human condition and human emotions.